welcome home. All right, what's going on guys? It's Epoxy and I figured I would go ahead and record this video because I've been giving you guys an update on Fallout 4 New Vegas for quite some time, which is an upcoming mod that is recreating New Vegas inside of the Fallout 4 engine. And I'm really excited about this one because the team behind this is just absolutely insane. The work that is going on has been phenomenal over the last few months. So I wanted to give you guys a massive update here for upcoming mods number seven with just everything that I haven't covered over the last few months and also some of the new stuff that came out within the last week or so and there's a lot to go over this video is probably gonna be longer than all my other upcoming mod videos as uh, there's there's quite a bit that I want to go over and I went ahead and just made my own imager album because there was just so much to cover that I didn't want to go through their discord and Facebook and everything all throughout this video so I wanted to create a nice clean album for video purposes anyways this is this is mainly just images there's some updates and stuff that I have later on in this video but uh, it's mainly images and just screenshots so it's it's gonna be a good one. This is going to be a lot of content to go over in this video. So starting off, we've got a image of Doc Mitchell's, which just looks absolutely phenomenal. In this video, I'm going to be zooming in on quite a bit of these images because I want to just take some time to just let it all sink in. We've got the Vigor Tester machine. We've got just everything. It looks way more detailed and it just looks so amazing inside of the new engine. Man, I just I cannot wait until at least this is somewhat playable so that I can get my hands on it. Uh, next up, we've got the anti-material rifle, the death clock killer. It looks phenomenal. And just the work that's done here is just absolutely insane. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the author names for every single one of these, but uh, they tend to be the same person that creates all the weapons and then the same person that creates the kind of like the similar items. Uh, next up, we've got that gun and it just looks so clean. It just looks so clean and th the modeling work is just insane and the texture work. Next is a nice look at some cool faction based Mojave vibes from Delta Tokyo, which is one of their concept artists. And this looks great. Again, this is just concept art, but concept art is so important when you're developing things. And then we actually have some of the excellent art adorning the roadside monoliths you'll come to find in Fallout 4 New Vegas by Big C Man. This is another one of their concept artists. And these concept arts, the fact that there are people like this in the community that can create art like this just blows my mind. Then we've got Rick Greaves' excellent take on the legendary M1911 pistol. All of this stuff just have, has so much more detail than even the stuff that's in Fallout 4. It just blows my mind. It just absolutely blows my mind that there's this much detail put into things. And then we've got Delta Tokyo's A plus redesign of Veronica, and this is looking good. It's just concept art. And then we've got the Colt single action army by Exaster Blast, and this is looking phenomenal. I just, I cannot wait to see all, all this stuff put into action inside the game. And then we've got Toasty Fresh's N99 10 millimeter pistol. You can actually download this on the Fallout 4 Nexus as a weapon mod, and it is absolutely amazing. I believe this is the same one that is being used in the Fallout for the Capital Wasteland project. And you guys have seen a screenshot of that in game before in my previous video. And then we've got Nevada Highway Patrol Station. This is another location. And this isn't even them completely finishing areas. This is just them going through and making it somewhat like it was in New Vegas. And honestly, just their work is fantastic. And later on in this video, you're gonna see how insane of a difference there is in between Fallout New Vegas, the original, and the Fallout 4 New Vegas mod. It's just, your mind is gonna be blown when you see the comparison screenshot that I've got for you later on in this video. And then we've got Deadpool 2099's Caravan Shotgun. And this is looking great. Beautiful, sexy shine. The Nuka-Cola bottle, Deadpool 2099's more classic take on post-war America's favorite beverage, Nuka-Cola. This is definitely looking clean. I'm sure they're gonna dirty up some of this stuff later on. Now we actually get to take a look at some gameplay. This is actually not a screenshot, it's gameplay. It's of the revamped Nuka-Cola machine. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up in full screen and check out the gameplay. The silenced. 22 pistol now keep in mind this is just pre-alpha footage so there, there's gonna be a lot that's changed but this is the revamped nuka-cola machine you can choose which flavor of nuka-cola you want to get which is absolutely insane and you do require paying pre-war money and that's just insane the the fact that they created this and then they've also got a animated beverages which is also just insane so this is an absolutely insane project that's going on 
But that's not it. I've got a ton more screenshots and more videos as well. So let's keep on moving along. This is their happy Halloween that they gave us on their Discord. Just a simple image of an area. Now we've got Castell's classic combat armor. So of course, the combat armor in Fallout 4 is dramatically different from what we saw in Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. So of course they had to go back and redesign it a little bit. And then it's actually a released mod for Fallout 4 that you can download. And this is what it looks like. These are all the screenshots from the mod. And you can actually download it for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. So this will also be linked in the description. I'll leave all of these links down in the description so you guys can check them out. And if you guys want to go ahead and download this and use it in your Fallout 4, you can see that there are good amounts of different combat armors here. We've got Riley's, Rangers, Talon Company, Vault Tech, Minutemen, Enclave, Railroad, Brotherhood of Steel, Shadowed, Winterized, Gobi Campaign Camo, Woodland Camo, Urban Camo, Navy, and Army. I did that backwards, but I'm sure you guys get my point. And then moving on, we've got the Highway Patrol car by Quaz30. The amount of detail that goes into this stuff, man. Just go ahead and take a look at the previous vehicles and everything that were in New Vegas that were just lying around all the destroyed vehicles. Even take a look at the stuff that's in Fallout 4. This is beyond Bethesda level here. This is absolutely ridiculous that they went this far. And then we've got Deadpool 29's Bozar and this. We've got a lot of images of this. We've even got some GIFs on it a little bit later in the video. And it just looks so sexy. It looks sexy. That, that, that's the word for this one, is it looks sexy. There's a ton of different variation in it, which you're gonna see a little bit later. Now we've got Toasty Fresh's lever action rifle, and we've actually got two lever action rifles here because we've got the Martini Henry by El Cid as well. Now we get to go ahead and take a little bit of a look at the landscape. And this is an update that said, a lot of folks have been asking how we intend to make our world space look and how we intend to handle the color grading and such. Instead of repeatedly explaining it, why not just show you? Here's a quick shot from the CK that we thought we'd share. And of course, they then showed what it looks like in game. And you can see it looks better than the original game, obviously, because it's an updated engine with brand new lighting and shadows and everything. But the amount of detail here, the amount of foliage is what we didn't see in New Vegas. And then we've got a bit of a sneak peek again at the Bozar's attachments and configurations, which is what I was talking about. And as you guys can see, there are a lot of configurations here. And I'll give you guys a little bit of more detail on what they're doing with modifications, what their goal is with modifications in this mod. It's pretty exciting. It's not gonna be exactly like it was in New Vegas, because if you guys don't know, they're not just directly porting New Vegas. They're gonna be doing New Vegas. They're gonna be adding all the stuff that was in New Vegas, but they're gonna be expanding upon it with brand new features and everything that we saw for mods and stuff that they're coming up with themselves as well. And it's all really great stuff that I think you guys will like. So it's not a direct port of New Vegas. Keep that in mind. Now, this next video that I've got isn't really a video. It's actually music because they're recreating the music inside of New Vegas. And the reason for that is because the quality of the music files inside of New Vegas are pretty low compared to what there is now and they're recreating the music in the game, or at least some of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and play a short little clip of this, but I'm gonna leave a link to it so you can listen to the whole entire thing if you want. I just wanted to share this with you guys, at least a small little clip of it, just so you guys can get a feel for their revamped music, because it's not an exact replica of the music, obviously, because they have to switch it around a little bit. Uh, so this is Doc Mitchell's theme, and I'm sure you guys will know exactly what this is, even from the title, but you'll know exactly what it is as soon as I click play. All right, so that is as much as I'm going to give you guys here in this video. If you guys want to go ahead and check that out, please check out the link in the description. It'll just be called Doc Mitchell's Theme. I really think you guys should check out that song because the revamped version of it just sounds phenomenal. It's a little bit more intense than the original track, but I really like it. I think it'll fit very well for the ambient. And yeah, moving on, we've got Good Spring Source, I believe it is. Some of this stuff isn't labeled, so I just had to kind of figure out what it is by myself. 
Uh, I think this is good good spring source, but I could be wrong. Uh, New Vegas, so much stuff looks very similar, so it was very hard for me to try and figure out what some of this stuff was. Uh, the next is the Caravan Shotgun by Deadpool299, which you can actually download. So you can download this as a weapon mod for Fallout 4, because what they're doing is essentially they're releasing all these weapons and everything that you can download as separate mods. The Capital Wasteland Project is actually also doing the same thing. So here's all the screenshots for the Caravan Shotgun. And then we get to move on to more surrounding areas of Good Springs. This is that camp, I believe, with that uh, douchebag that tries to bait the shit out of you. Can't quite remember his name, can't quite remember if there... I don't think there's actually a location name for this place, so that's why I couldn't figure it out. Uh, so this is just areas surrounding Good Springs. And then, I had no idea what this was. I wanted to say, out, like, the outlook of the Good Springs cave, but I'm probably wrong on that one. Because there isn't really that much detail, there's not really any locations that you can see from here, so... I have no idea. Uh, this one is Good Springs Surroundings again. I believe this is near the Good Springs source because I believe this is the Good Springs source right here. I'm just, I'm guessing really. Plus also I kind of somewhat remember this stuff from the beginning with Sunny Smiles. And then we get another stellar release from Deadpool 2099, which is the Bozar. So you can also download this for Fallout 4. All these mods are just absolutely insane. And I want you guys to see the detail of this stuff inside the game so that you know how serious this project is. And these are just the weapons. There's so much more going on than just this. But you can see they've got the standard amount of receivers, six barrels, six stocks, six magazines, three muzzles, eight sights, three simple paint options, and two unique paint jobs. And then we get a few more screenshots of it, just showing you all these sides of it. And that looks great and dandy. And then we get some 2D art, which is a very important part of the project. So I want to go ahead and read this and then I'll share with you guys all these magazine covers. We thought we'd change gears and show off some of the excellent 2D work done by our 2D assets lead, Big Seaman and project contributor Selassie. 2D work is an often overlooked part of development with the 3D assets the work is attached to often overshadowing the efforts of the 2D artists. So for this week, we thought we'd showcase some of the more iconic bits of 2D art that have been recreated for Fallout 4 New Vegas. And of course, these are the magazines. So, of course, we're starting off with Tales of Chivalry, and we've got quite a bit of 2D art here. And this all just looks phenomenal. Just go ahead and take, take pauses if you want to, and just just take it in. Take in the 2D art. There's, just, there's a lot of it, and it takes up most of the screen. All right. So, now that we're done with those, let's zoom in a little bit more so you guys can get a closer look on some of this stuff. I just spat. I hope you saw that. So anyways, starting off with more locations around Good Springs. Couldn't quite remember where this was. This is Prim, the bridge crossing to Prim. And this is ju just showing off the weather and lighting in the Fallout 4 engine. And it's almost non-recognizable. You can only recognize that it's New Vegas locations because of the location itself. But other than that, everything looks dramatically different. That's It's completely unrecognizable. The people that said... The engine jump from Fallout New Vegas to Fallout 4 wasn't that big of a leap. I, I think you need to take a step back and look look at some original screenshots of New Vegas. Sure, New Vegas modded looks beautiful, but uh, it doesn't look very beautiful when it's not modded. And now moving on to the, what I believe to be three new weapons in the game. Uh, because as far as my knowledge goes, none of these weapons were in the game. So the first is the bow, which th this was definitely not in New Vegas. As far as my knowledge goes, we did not see a bow. I've tried Googling it to double check to make sure I'm not an idiot, and I found nothing. So obviously this is something new. They are adding new features into this. So this is one of them. So the bow, a primitive but deadly weapon on the hands of a trained archer. They were common on the tribes before being absorbed and still are common as ranged weapons for when firearms aren't around or when they need silence and precision. So I think that's a little bit of a confirmation that these will be classified as silent weapons, which makes sense because they're bows. They're not, they're not firearms. So I think that's, that's pretty understandable. And then we have the makeshift machete, the tool of the initiated. And I believe this is the unique version of it called crude. I couldn't quite confirm, but this is crude, made with only wood, a lawnmower blade, and some bolts. It is simple but effective. More than one have been the end of NCR soldiers. And last, we've got the Machete Gladius, Scourge of the Legion's Foes. 
using classic Roman designs while adapting it for the harsh desert environment and usually on the hands of experienced legion forces, it is something to be feared. And it's, ooh, terrifying, especially because the legion is always my enemy inside of New Vegas. I've never sided with them even once. And then moving on, we have a mod for Fallout 4 that will be included in Fallout 4 New Vegas. Uh, well, because it includes the level up system from previous Fallout games. It's called Level Up Menu Extended by Nianka, and it will again be used in the release of Fallout 4 New Vegas. So I wanna show this to you guys. So essentially it brings the old system back into the game. Yeah, this, this looks absolutely phenomenal. You guys can download this for Fallout 4 itself, which will include just perks. And then I believe there are some mods available to add brand new perks. So it's, it's a very impressive system. And uh, I'll probably have a showcase on this mod eventually. And moving on, we've got another sneak peek at their gameplay, which shows off some of the systems in action to start off the gear. And this was posted at the beginning of the year. And I want to share this with you guys because this one is pretty damn awesome. All right. So as you guys can see, we're, I believe, next to the Good Spring source. And they're going to show off some impressive systems here. So we've got the caravan shotgun, of course. We've got the combat armor, the original combat armor. And... Then we've got Radio New Vegas with all of the music. So obviously we we're going to turn that off because, well, we don't want to get a copyright. I just want you guys to take in the New Vegas world inside of the Fallout 4 engine because it's just so impressive to see something like this recreated in a brand new engine. It makes me almost come to tears. Yes, this is the Good Spring source. So I believe the screenshot that I was talking about, I believe that tunnel or whatever is what that one screenshot was out of, but I'm not quite too sure. And then this is the menu that we'll have for our special, our perks and everything like that. And it's very impressive. It's got a lot of options. It's even got a search menu at the bottom and we've got all of our skills again. I miss skills, man. I miss them so much. I, I know Bethesda was trying to simplify the system and make it less complicated, but I love the whole skill separation and special and perks. I loved it all. I don't understand why they had to take it away. I loved New Vegas as well, how it had traits. And I just, I wish they didn't simplify things. I wish they kept it the way that it was. It was Fallout. It was what made it feel like Fallout at the beginning of the game, being able to choose all that stuff and building upon your character. It allowed for more possibilities for builds and they ruined it. We get to see the caravan shotgun in action shooting Good Spring Settlers. But let's move ahead a little bit here to show you something a little bit more impressive about this mod. You can see we've lost Karma, a system that wasn't inside of Fallout 4. And then we also have the infamy system and the reputation system, which I actually loved about New Vegas. Some people didn't like it, but I loved it. I thought it made sense and it worked pretty well. So that is coming back, really excited about that. And let me know your thoughts on that down in the comment section below. The fact that they're able to redo all these systems inside of a completely different game that didn't have them is pretty damn impressive. Now this, you're probably wondering what's going on. Why is Jesus raising his hands over and over again? Well, it's because it's uh, part of this. So as the more eagle-eyed among our fan base have noticed, each of the karma and reputation icons, as well as the individual perk icons are now animated. This incredible work done by our 2D artist lead, Big C Man, is just a small selection of incredibly animated icons we'll be using in Fallout 4 New Vegas. Now this is actually a Facebook video uh, because Imager did not want me to post this for whatever reason. So this is showing you guys a few of their animated icons. Again, this is just a few of them. All of them are going to be animated, which is just taking it to a whole new level. The fact that they're animating all of this stuff, just they're just bringing New Vegas into 2018 for sure. And it's, it's, it's awesome. I love it. I love it, man. Moving on. This is what I was talking about early in the video with the comparison shots and this this is pretty impressive. We wanted to showcase a bit of a comparison shot to really show difference between our world space and the one used in Fallout New Vegas. Our take on Devil's Gullet by level design team lead, space time bender, and LD team member Kylo Sandwich is overall a very minor location in Fallout New Vegas. However, this small location allows us to show the incredible difference the Fallout version of the creation engine really makes. From its improved lighting to enhanced shadows and higher quality textures it natively supports. So what you guys are looking at right now is their recreated version of Devil's Gullet. Now let's go ahead and take a look at New Vegas's version, the original New Vegas, not the not the remake mod. And doesn't that just look absolutely atrocious compared to this? It's 
it's a mind-blowing difference when you have them side by side. Wow, like, there's essentially shadows didn't exist. They didn't exist here. Like, there's no shadows whatsoever. And then, boom, half of the thing is just a huge shadow, and you can also see yourself as a shadow. The, the difference in the engine is dramatic, and it's not just because of the orange yellowy tint on New Vegas. And then I wanted to quickly show you guys their website because their website is pretty pretty sleek, and this is where you can find a lot of information on their mod and some of the recent stuff. You can also apply here, and this will also be linked in the description. There's FAQs and everything like that. Now we've got the Ambulance by 3D team member Quaz30. He's working really hard on all of these vehicles here. Honestly, they're not even recognizable. And another look at the backside of it. And then we've got something that's pretty damn impressive. Barstool Games is a coming mod by the White Collar Players and Scrivener07, which will bring gambling mini games like those found in Fallout New Vegas to Fallout 4. It will be included in this project and i'm only going to show you guys a quick clip of this because this is someone else's video i want you guys to go over and send them some love because you guys can see they have a working card game inside of fallout Ford's engine which the fact that they're able to do something like this in a in a game that didn't have support for it so this is all the information on weapon modifications that i told you i was going to talk about and uh <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot here so this th this might take a while to read over but i think it's pretty important again there are wobbly timestamps, so if you want to skip over this feel free and follow new vegas weapon modifications were generally linear improvements in weapon utility their focus was on providing a simple improvement in weapon function be it an improvement in weapon durability or better optics or more damage aside from some upgrades for laser weapons there was little in the way for upgrades that provided players with distinct changes in the way weapons might function fallout 4 new vegas while being very closely tied to the ideas of fallout new vegas will be taking a different approach one of the main goals of fallout 4 new vegas is to avoid a x is better than y system of balance we feel that such systems, while certainly viable in some games, make character builds and perks less viable and punish player choice. And while poor choices should have consequences, in the world of firearms and weapons, there's not really such thing as a best weapon. Only one that's best in a given situation. Fallout 4 New Vegas aims to emulate that, and our take on the weapon modification system is meant to help encourage that. Generally, our aim with weapon upgrades will be to create choice. Unlike in Fallout New Vegas or Fallout 4, where one receiver or upgrade was often simply better than the others. Fallout 4 New Vegas will be adding receivers that are often just different. For instance, this may mean that a player that finds a basic laser rifle and chooses to upgrade it will have their choice of upgrades based around the various types of fire mode and functionality that the laser rifles found in Fallout 4 have. Shotgun, fully automatic, etc. This will mean that various weapons will be useful to different player builds and also encourage players to get perks that help them improve their weapon of choice. We'll also be working with perks to help make different weapons more useful into the late game, while also working to rebalance weapon builds that are more overpowered or broken. We're looking at you and stay back. This should make similar weapons with different minor differences between them more differentiated and useful to different builds. That's a lot of different words. Overall, we think that by working towards a more player rewarding balance infrastructure, we'll be able to make more player builds viable. So that is how they're working on weapon modifications. That's a lot of information to take in. Uh, so if you stuck with me there, you understood what I was saying, congrats to you. So then we get a screenshot of Helios 1 and it's looking pretty fine. We've got the pickup truck by Rena Fox, and then we get some beautiful more weapons, and I believe this is us coming close to the end. This right here is the service rifle, and it's looking sleek as fuck. And before I go ahead and show you the last two weapons that I have to share with you guys here, I wanted to share the information that they left us with for these ARs. So 3D lead Deadpool 299 with an ACOG site by 3D team member Sin showcases the AR family as it'll appear in Fallout 4 New Vegas. As opposed to the system in Fallout New Vegas that treated the AR family weapons as individual weapons without any crossover, in Fallout 4 New Vegas you'll be able to modify your weapons in more meaningful ways that will allow you to blur lines between their functionality so as to create a weapon that suits your character build best, which sounds like a pretty fine idea to me. 
So now we get a look at the Marksman Carbine and this looks absolutely amazing. Just, just look at it. Just look at it. I'll let you, I'll let you look at it for just a moment here. Okay. I'll zoom in and boom. It's just, it's sexy. Okay. That's, that's pretty much, that's pretty much all I can say about it is everything here. Everything in this mod is sexy. And the very last screenshot, I believe, let's double check. Yep. As you can see is the Assault Carbine. And this is looking mighty fine. And that is it. That is a very long recording. That is now me recording for 42 minutes. It's probably going to be a much shorter video than that. But this is definitely going to be the longest upcoming mods video. And the sorest my throat has ever been. Because I haven't recorded a video this long for a very long time. But anyways guys, that is it for this upcoming mods episode. Hopefully you got some information that you didn't know about here in this video. And you got to see some beautiful screenshots. I think that all these screenshots are beautiful. So you got to see like 40 plus amazing beautiful screenshots. I'd say that's that's a pretty good video. So <laughs> anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed. Please smack that like button down below and subscribe to join in the good fight. If you haven't already, it would be super greatly appreciated as always. But anyways, guys, this is Epoxy signing off. Today.